Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is actually a timeless collective reading for the sign of Capricorn. Something is over. Um, all week, the readings I've been talking about, people really feeling like they like they they got something in the bag. Okay, these different rituals and everything, people really feel like they they have it all planned out, mastered, and they're going to win. Um, and that's not what's going to happen. So, <laughs> I feel that a lot of you who are doing the work to ascend and to grow and evolve it's so important right now that you really walk in that power and authority of who you are so you know just some of my personal thoughts on the energy thus far is a lot of people we've been in our shadow um but your shadow has become a shadow it's almost like a lot of people are afraid of their shadow and for us to coexist here with so many people who are dark you're going to have to sacrifice an old version of yourself these people in your life who we consider to be karmic or whatever those people are a reflection of the type of people that you attracted when you were of a lower frequency um when you lack consciousness and awareness so when you think about um growing nothing is ever about other people these other people are just like props they're they're tools for you to ascend so when you see certain people in your life you have to see like, oh, I no longer resonate with that energy. So you can't be afraid to let people go. But this is more important. It's about you releasing a, a version of yourself fully. Um, we still have this eclipse energy that's happening. Mercury retrograde. There's so much happening also um, with Venus um, being here like in Taurus season. There's just a lot happening and there's a clearing that must take place. A lot of you have this very, very um, powerful energy within yourself. And unfortunately, a lot of people have been feeding off of you. They've been feasting off of you because they are experiencing like a spiritual famine. These people have sold their souls. You know, it, it doesn't matter job title, how much money they have. None of that matters. These people, they're soulless beings. Many of you, even when you were children or at a young age or, you know, a certain relationship in the past, people, they saw this high vibing energy. They saw like this, this God like energy that dwells within you and they decided to feast off of you. So somebody sent, um, just, a, it was a picture earlier, but I happened to see this image and I'm going to share it here. Now, if you look at this picture, it, it just it's a random thing and it, it looks like it's a parade or something. But what I see this is that I think about it's almost like an angel to me. This looks almost like an angel. OK, the, and the color red signifies power in so many other things, but also like root chakra. Some of you have been carrying like trauma from your ancestors and your family, but if you notice a lot of these people here, you have people that are looking down. Some people they're looking at it, but you see people with their hands extended. Some of you, you carry like a, like God truly dwells within you. I'm not saying that you yourself, you're God, but being a faithful, humble servant of God, people to touch you, it is to heal them. Okay. To touch you brings abundance, healing, protection. So a lot of people have been touching you on your path, on your journey, and they've never detached. And if you go back to some of my readings, the, the last few weeks, I've been talking about like the Achilles heel. Many of us, especially as light workers, our Achilles heel is love. People have tried to destroy us. And because of love and light, we, we've never done anything to to fight back it, it's just always well you know justice will be served what well, well, judgment day is here and justice is being served but at this point even as an as an earth angel you you are you can also be activated as an avenger angel and i've been saying it's it's you versus them for you to be here to protect to serve or whatever you want to do Whatever God wants you to do, certain people, they can no longer exist in your energy. I'm not here saying that everybody's just going to fall dead. and No, I'm not saying, but energetically, there must be a death. They can no longer feed off of your energy because you need all of your energy for yourself. This is friends, family members, lovers, you know, 
there are these cords of attachment that have been formed and because these individuals they they really can't survive without you now something is happening with this eclipse energy where it's like you can see like in that photo i showed like their hands it's getting further that that big body in the middle of the crowd which is symbolic to who you are as an earth angel chosen one that holds this divine power it's is moving away it's in motion you're moving away this is the year of the number seven 2023 the chariot you're moving away from your south node you're moving away from these people who have had a hold on you and there's a big ritual right now that is going on and i've been mentioning it because it's very important you have these satanic rituals that are happening right now where people literally, they think they're going to feed you to, to say, they, they think they're really going to sacrifice. They've been sacrificing you energetically. When people think of sacrifices, they always think like, oh, someone is losing their life. They're trying to take your, your, your spiritual like essence, your energy. These people are making sure that for however long they're able to have whatever fame, fortune, protection, good luck and blessings that's supposed to be yours. They're starting a new cycle where they're going to feed off of you. But something is happening. So I'm just going to get into the cards here. Um, hold on. Let me see. The very first card that came out was the Empress. And I know it was nothing but the enemy. Um doing this while the camera wasn't on then that, that only happens every now and then where there's a very very serious message because the enemy doesn't want it to get out but next to the empress here is this strength card somebody here i feel is they're running out of time because look at this somebody here they can't even hold on to this blessing or this energy or whatever that they are after that is already dwelling inside of this divine feminine or masculine they can't hold this energy, okay? I feel like you guys are calling justice on a situation, okay? I feel like you are, for sure, like I said, you're activating this shadow aspect of yourself that a lot of people think to run away from. When I say activating your I, what I mean is there is a darker side of everyone. And when you begin to really spiritually protect yourself, you have to be able to get down with the best of the best of them. And all everybody that comes at you is not coming at you with love and light. It's time to say, no, you have to draw your sword at some point and actually assume the position and be willing and ready to fight. You're an angel. So this um, temperance card is falling underneath the emperor. So there's for sure someone here who is a divine feminine or masculine, a true earth angel. This beast, though, that keeps coming after you, it wants this light. It wants this purity of you, within you. Somebody feels like you're very, very pure and they want this. They, they need this energy to take it. To take it to feed this beast that, that keeps on trying to attack you. But see, justice is being served right now. Somebody here took action against you and they got caught. The devil card, they got caught. Why? Because this is your year number seven. You're in your chariot. You're moving forward. You're already in this energy of the divine feminine or masculine. The cycle has closed. Somebody here just ran out of time. And I feel like this is happening in real time. For somebody, this is happening in real time. Like the gate has closed on whoever this is. It keeps trying to steal this energy. And I'll be honest with you. Somebody here has watched you. They've studied you. They got whatever they wanted. They got some of it. They got some of it. And they thought that they were going to be able to follow through with the plan. But right when they thought that they had gotten everything that they wanted from you. Whatever this energy of this blessing, it fell right back into your lap. Somebody has watched you, hacked you, spied on you, studied you a lot to try to figure out the best time, the best way to go against you. All of these plans failed, okay, because you decided to pull your sword out to make sure that this demon, this entity or whatever was not able to hurt you, to harm you or to steal from you. 10, 10 on the clock. So whoever this person is, you see this king of wands here. It could be any sign, but this is someone here who obviously the king of wands takes action. This person took action to go against you. They took action, no doubt, and they're experiencing a real blowback now because look here, the judgment card. What this person is becoming privy to is the fact that you are not in the dark. 
The hermit is in the reverse. You know exactly who you are. And therefore, because you just woke up right on time, it's killing this, this whole energy. It just shut everything down. You can go on my community post and um, read it. It's like this, per this person thought that you would pray for the devil. They were going to sacrifice you up so that they could have another, you know, three year cycle or for the rest of the year. You know, that th this year was going to be full of blessings. They were going to thrive off of your blessings. This person got in your energy and I'm telling you, they got in there. But it was like automatically there was a, an alarm that was sound. It was like, hold on, wait a minute. Or somebody here, you just woke up and realized, wait, somebody's in my energy right now. And you clear this out or you need to. Because you can see it. Somebody here, it, it was they were already skating on real thin ice with whatever, whatever they had. And they've been trying to get whatever your blessing is. They've been trying to transport it on somewhere else. What this blessing is, is your energy. They were going to feed this energy to whatever it is that they've been using to attack you. Drain you of your energy. So they're going to use your energy to actually attack you. But somebody here, you woke up, you woke up just in time. This could have been something that happened to you in, the, in your sleep, in the dream state. You could have just suddenly had to wake up. You could have been taking a nap. Somebody here has been trying to do something to you possibly while you're sleeping, while you're resting. They're, they're extracting information and energy out of you. And they thought like, oh yeah, they got it. Whoever this is, the trumpet just blew. Spirit was like, wait a minute, what did you think you was doing? Or you received a down. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you received a download of some sort. And look at this. <laughs> You have to wake up and remember who you are. Like, wait a minute. I'm a child of God. And some of you, you there's some type of God, goddess, or galactic being. It, it's something else that is within you. That these people, they they want, they know that you have access to something in the spirit. I don't know what it, what it is. I don't want to even get into it. Because I really don't want to even... I see it, but I don't want to speak on it because so many people, they're watching these readings to gather more information, but you know what it is. They knew about it too, and they, they kept trying to steal it. So here you are now, you're releasing a lot of baggage, you're liberating yourself. And as soon as you did that, this person, they received a blowback and then look, whatever this plan, the plot, the strategy, the scheme, the scam is, it just like blew, blew away. Cause somebody here, look, they're like, wow. Right when they was about to take it, because you know what I'm, I'm getting here? It's like communion. When you know, people say, you know, they, they, um, they eat the body of Christ, drink the blood of Christ. Like communion. Somebody here, it was a ritual and they was, everybody was right about to feed off of your energy. Like, yes, we got it. Just like in that picture I just showed you, they're like, yes, we got, we got this body. We got this sacrifice. Now everybody drinking and then boom, all of a sudden everybody goes to, to pour up to drink. And to feed off of your body as if you're you're God himself and all of a sudden everything it, it just it was destroyed because you have your own cup. I cannot make this up and I know for a sure fact like the enemy doesn't want this because the camera was not on. You're right back on path. Somebody threw you off for just a second, I feel. They thought that they had this in the bag, but no. You it's it's right here in the cards. Somebody here woke up. I almost feel like somebody here was in some kind of trance or under a spell or this hermit to me is like somebody here was in a spell under a trance or an illusion and boom, you just woke up and you was like, wait a minute, is somebody trying to take me out? For some of you, it's that serious, but for some of you, it's just somebody has been, they were trying to get your energy. And I do feel like that they were, listen, they were able to get it in the cup, but nobody was able to drink. They were able to, to get it, to get access to it, but that's it. Everybody is like, wait a minute, where is it? It's, it's like as soon as they got in the cup and they was all about support, they're like, oh man. <laughs> what they're actually about to drink is a lot of poison. Because see, now that you are awakened and they're tapping into your energy, they're actually going to drink your shadow. They're not drinking their pureness, they're going to drink your shadow. So they're going to drink all of the death, disease, and the destruction that they thought they were going to send to you and allow, take your energy to heal in their life. They're going to they're gonna drink their own poison. 
because these people have been polluting you. They, they've they been pouring their karma, their sins and everything else onto you. They, they wanted you to take in all of their sins and iniquities. They're going to they're going to swallow all of that hole now. So what they're doing now is with this ritual where they were supposed to dump all of their sins and iniquities and wrongdoing and bad karma on you and then take your energy and your essence you're going to get all your energy your essence and your power back and they're going to drink everything that they ever tried to give to you you see this and this right here this is this could be three different men this is some secret society or cult or group of men they were all waiting to feed off of this divine feminine they were all waiting like, man, yeah, we got her. It's time to go. No, it's not. This is a whole angel. You thought you was going to rape an angel and take this person's essence? They've done it to you before. Oh, trust me. I know. They've done it to you before. But see, not this time. It was they needed your energy because they wanted to be this. They wanted to walk in your light and in your energy and your essence, but they don't have it. They're a soulless being. So they were going to take the purity from you. Knock you down, drag you out. They didn't care what they had to do. But you got saved by the bell. Because the time just ran out. It's a bunch of people standing around in a ritual right now. And I'm telling you, they don't have no, no bread, no butter, no wine. They don't have anything. And this is for sure, this is some kind of blood sacrifice or ritual. These people, I'm, get, I'm getting seriously, they're drinking blood. This is a blood sacrifice. It's just like people talk about, you know, the sacrifice of, of Jesus. These people, literally, it's a ritual. They were sacrificing somebody. They were sacrificing a divine feminine. They had your energy, and boom, everybody was about to drink. They got shut down real quick. Because, see, you woke up and realized who you are. And remember that with this cup, you have so much that you have to pour into. So many people. It's your divine right and purpose. Somebody is coming towards you with an offer. They didn't want whoever this is to come towards you with this offer because it's someone who is in the upright, the temperance and the lovers. They did not want this true divine counterpart to come towards you. They were trying to sacrifice you before this person made their way to you because they wanted to use all of your energy for themselves. For a lot of you, you have somebody who is very high ranking coming to you. So what they were going to do was sacrifice you. Because obviously if they sacrifice you and they get their energy, it's going to make them a vibrational match for a very high ranking, wealthy, you know, um, person. So they wanted to make sure pretty much that, like I said, whatever is supposed to be part of your destiny, they were going to take part in it. Literally, they were going to all divvy your energy up amongst one another. Okay, you know, I'm going to get a house off that person's energy. Yeah, I'm going to get a new car. Man, I'm going to finally go, you know, and get the baddest woman I can find or man. Everything that's supposed to be yours, it was all, I'm telling you, this is a blood sacrifice. And I told you guys, I know some of y'all, y'all don't like what I say. You didn't believe me. April 19th was the beginning of a 13-day sacrificial ritual. The Satanists, they know about it. And somebody here in the collective, you were absolutely a sacrifice. This is a blood sacrifice ritual that is being done. These people are draining your sacral energy. Heart chakra, sacral chakra, they are taking everything. You could be feeling very tired, overwhelmed, can't hardly see. It's because these people, I'm telling you, they're doing backflips in your energy right now. And they honestly thought that they were going to stop you from getting this offer. It's something about it. If you receive unconditional love from someone, it's going to make you vibrate so high and it's going to make it impossible for them to attack you. That is the reason why your love life has been under such an attack. As long as they can keep you feeling like you're going to be single and, and you're going to die alone, it's easier for them to attack you. Because they're going to make you feel rejected and abandoned and wounded all the time. They don't want anybody to come in and just really love you and adore you. But th that's what's coming here. Baby, I'm telling you, this, this sacrifice here is somebody is in a lot of trouble. Look, 
they were walking in your energy. This was an illusion. These people had you looking at yourself in the mirror thinking you was crazy. The tower. Now, now everybody is up. They're like, wait a minute. Y'all, something backfired. Something is wrong. Because look at this. Uh-oh, this person, they can see us. Uh-oh, what are we going to do now? See, whoever they had up there on the sacrifice, the person ain't on the... Typically, the hangman is upside down. There is no sacrifice up there. These people had you on an... They had you, whatever they do. Now they're sitting there and they look like, oh, damn. She can see us? <laughs> he can see us? There's nothing up there to sacrifice. Now they're trying to reverse it. You can't reverse it now. Nothing is there. It's like, where, where is the body? Literally, it's, it's like Jesus. Somebody's like, where is the body? Where is the energy we had in here? Where is it? So, so, so what are they drinking now? It ain't your energy. This is nothing but poison that they're digesting. That's it. They, Cause look, somebody they looking like, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's like somebody was literally sitting back thinking, when the clock strikes 12, we're gonna be we're gonna be divine. They looking at the clock now and they're like, okay, listen. Okay, maybe give give it another day. Maybe it's gonna happen tomorrow. No, it's not happening. You see these people, you were able to wake up and pinpoint exactly these people have been eclipsed out of your energy. And here you are walking into a brand new beginning where you will ex have exactly what is for you. These people, they got too close. And that's when Archangel Michael stepped in and was like, what are you doing? Now everybody's running. Everybody running scared now. Because I'm telling you, whatever whatever they drank, whatever this is, it's going to backfire. You're, you're talking about stealing somebody, somebody's life force energy. So if you can't follow through with this there's nothing there you can only imagine what's going to happen to these people look because look at that the beast can't go nowhere this entity is starving because it could not get you so what you think it's going to do now if everybody is in the room with an entity that they all came in there to feed and they can't feed it oh the entity is about to Eat up everybody in there. This whole, everybody in this ritual is about to get their asses handed to them. And I said, I said what I said. Look at this at the bottom of the deck. The emperor in the reverse. Some distorted masculine somewhere who, look. This is a coward. This masculine was already scared of what they were doing, but they followed through with it anyway. You see him holding on to this pentacle? He's like, well, I don't really know if I should invest in this, but I'm going to do it anyway. He did it anyway. This person was warned. This could be someone you considered in the past, your twin flame, whatever. This person was warned to stay out of your energy. But for whatever this is, this blessing that you're receiving in this next cycle, they wanted it so bad. So they decided to go once again in the dark, doing things with the occult to try this. I'm hearing third time's a charm. This person, they've done this to I, you. know what? I have a reading. It was probably last year where I said a karmic has possibly tried to take you out at least three times. This person has probably participated in this ritual at least twice. And this was probably their third attempt. It didn't work. It did not work. Mm -mm. It didn't work. This, I, whoever this is, I'm this is bad. King of Wands. Page of Wands. Yeah. Somebody here was, you know, very flamboyant. They took action. They just knew that with this magic, they was going to get what they wanted. They were going to... They was going to wake up tomorrow and be a, 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 a king or queen or god or goddess that they was going to, you know, drink, drink, drink your energy up. No, that's not what happened. But for some reason, this king of wands, for some of you, this is someone for some of you now who was actually on your side. Somebody saw all of this happening. 
This King of Wands is a King of Wands in the upright. There's somebody else who took action who shouldn't have, but somebody here knew all this was happening. This person's coming towards you to make an offer. This could be your actual divine masculine for some of you. This person here, this page of wands, this isn't this person being immature. This person, I'm getting this emperor is quick on their feet. I'm here, I'm hearing bone crusher, never scared. This person's like a bone crusher. They're not scared to defend you. Yeah, they'll go all out and defend you. The hierophant, this person is very close to God. And they've seen that you were facing some type of unfair judgment. They step, this person has stepped in and called like on their own spiritual team to assist you because they know that you're here to heal. This person could be someone that, um, I'm, I'm, I just heard in that song, wait for you. You pray for my demon. So I got you. Somebody that you've prayed for and that you've helped, they've stepped in to assist you with this attack. Yeah, because see, somebody here, they know how to activate their darker side as a high priest. It's a, see, that, that's what I'm saying at the beginning. Look, the tower and the death. Even as an earth angel, you can be an avenger. You can be an avenging angel. It ain't always sugary and sweet. Somebody here is saying, if you try to take out this divine feminine or this divine masculine, I'm going to show you dark. I'm going to get right on your level with you. And I'm going to do whatever it means I have to do to take you out because you're not taking this person out. Some of you, this is like an actual divine counterpart of yours. It could be a past on love, one, an ancestor. Take it however it resonates. But there is a masculine energy here that is stepping in saying, I'm not a dark person. I just keep hearing now, like I'm hearing Drake, that song spin about you. I'm com this person like I'm coming at my body for you. Like you're not about to take this divine. You're not getting away with this. I'm going to destroy you. This, <laughs> this is a person that you love or you love or you will love in the future. This person here. And it's interesting because the reading I did earlier, I was talking about an earth, earth angel and a spirit guide coming together in a divine union. This is a yin and yang energy. You and somebody are like partners in the spirit. You protect one another. So you may be the person where like, you know, you don't do anything dark. This person is like, well, when darkness comes up against you, when a beast comes against you, I can, I know how to fight. I can tame this beast. This is giving me that very much, okay, honey, you stay at home, but your masculine, they go out in the field and they get things done. In the spirit. You may be the one to pray. They're like, okay, well, you pray, honey. I'll see you when I get back home. They come back, they get back home and people gone. The demons are gone. Like this person does not play around in the spirit realm. Either you or this other person that you are spiritually and energetically connected to that's for your greatest and highest good. The two of you don't play around in the spirit about each other at all. You got the high priestess here and the devil. To me, this it's not dark, though. It's like whoever this person is, like I said. This person knows how to activate <laughs> like the demon within themselves. They're not a bad person, but it's like if you want me to destroy you, I will. This is somebody who has knowledge about things in the underworld. And, and I'm here somebody say I'm I'm tired of their I'm tired of them attacking her. I'm tired of them attacking. This is a woman. I'm tired of them attacking her. And I'm here. I'm a made man, so I gotta protect this person. They're 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 high ranking in the spirit already. So it's like if you're gonna attack this divine feminine, like off with your head. I'm not playing with you. 
this person doesn't say this is this is I'm hearing a man of very few words. They don't say much. But who they are in the spirit, they're undefeated. You don't want to deal, you don't want to have a face off with this person. So these people that's a part of this group, this little secret society or whatever, that's been constantly attacking um and trying to sacrifice this divine feminine, they've had no idea about the, the dark side of this this masculine. I wonder if this mask was ever a part of this group. I don't I don't know, but he may not have been a part of this group, but he knew what was happening. This person has some kind of knowledge. Like this could have been something that happened to you in a past life. Cause I'm hearing somebody say, I already know how the story goes. So it's like you could have crossed paths with somebody. They're in your life or they're about to enter your life. They already knew that part of your story was for you to be sacrificed. This person actually, wow, okay, in a past life, this person couldn't save you. Wow. This person feels like they owe you. Because in a past life, I'm hearing somebody say, I didn't get there in time the last time. I'm, I'm hearing this person, I didn't get there in time the last time. So you, in a past life, when you were on the chopping block, or maybe if even not a past life and the, the last time somebody did this ritual, this person, either they didn't say something or they didn't know something or they didn't get there in time. This person now is saying, uh-uh. They're going to make sure that, that they don't sacrifice you. This part, Somebody stood in the gap for you. This person came completely out of their body for you. This person literally went toe to toe with the devil about you because they this person knew that the last time this happened or in a past life, they didn't protect you. Either they, they couldn't or they wouldn't or whatever. I feel like this person at some point they were in this group. Maybe it was in a past life they was in this group. In this lifetime, they decided that they were choosing the light. But see, when you choose to be in the light, if you've ever been in the past life, obviously you're paying back karmic debts. As part of this person's karmic debt, for them to pay it off, they have to protect you. This is this is this kind of goes with the reading I did earlier. In order for this person to in order for this person to be free, they have to protect you because you you're gonna free them. I don't, I don't, I don't, this person, they have some kind of divine mission and purpose too. But it's just like the reading that I posted earlier. The two of you, you unlock something within each other. They can't get to their, uh, fully into their divine purpose. Or It's like this person needs to be broken out of some kind of spell or curse. It's like I'm seeing Beauty and the Beast without you, without your love. They can't be like totally in their power. This person is, is like a beast, but they're very majestic. This person is very powerful and majestic, but it's like they've been stuck. Yeah, it's like Beauty and the Beast. I first thought, oh, wait a minute. Why does it feel like this could be the same person that is attacking you? Wow, whoa. Why does this feel like, oh my goodness, it feels like this person that has been attacking you is actually your person. I, but no, I think that's, that's for some people. Somebody the last minute. This, this, see, it's it, this person is connected somehow to this group that's been trying to sacrifice you. And it seems like at the last minute, this person 
decided to protect you instead of being a part of this group. This person, they have insight. They have intel about this group and what they're doing to you. It's so it, it, I'm telling you, it's like somebody in here is under almost like this. Could, this gives like an undercover person like they know you spiritually. So it's like this person knew like in a past life or the last time I know that they tried to do this to their divine feminine. So this person is now coming out, like coming out their body and they're like, no, I don't want to be a part of that. I'm not going to let this happen to that. Fem this person. Oh, my God. It's like you cross paths with this person and they found out who you really are. They found out you're an earth angel or like a spirit guide. One of you was like an angel and the other is like a spirit guide. This person could be, oh, maybe they're like the spirit guide. This person has been guiding you different places to do certain things to keep you from being like wiped out by this group. They've purposely been doing certain things to protect you in the background. A lot of this is happening in the spirit. So for some of you, they're not this they're not connected to to the like the person that's trying to hurt or harm you, but they are aware of what's going on. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Because I was like, is this the same person? It's not the same person, I don't think. This is someone fair like in your energy though, who is truly divine, but they know everything that's happening to you. They know so much that it, it makes you question, are they a part of this group? No. You know this person from a past life. They already know the plans for you. So this person could have like a prophetic gift or be like a psychic. They already know this earth angel is about to be sacrificed. So they're going in the spirit realm protecting you. They know exactly who all of your enemies are. They see this group of men attacking you. So this is like your actual divine masculine. And this person is like, I, th this person, they can operate in the light or dark. So it's like this person is going to hell knocking on the door. Like where, where are them three men at? Where, where are they? Let me see them. Because they keep on attacking this divine feminine who is not just any divine feminine. That's my, this part, I'm hearing this person say, that's my divine feminine. So it's kind of like, you know, this is like the type of person. I'm getting like divine counterpart, but I'm, I'm going to use this as an example. So a lot of you guys know, of course, you have some men who will lie, cheat and, and can treat their husband. I'm, I'm sorry, not their husband, but their wives horribly. But you know how some men are about their daughters, like. I don't care. They're like, I don't care what I do in the streets. Don't mess with my baby. It's like, this is the kind of energy. It's a very like father, like energy, a very mass. It's like, I don't care what I did in the past. I don't care about anything. Don't touch that divine feminine. This could be someone's father, or grandfather, somebody. And they're like, yeah. Wow. Okay. So this is a different story for some of you. This is like a, um, a father figure they may not be in this realm anymore they could have already transitioned they could have done a lot of very dark things in their in their lifetime it could be a situation now where it's like you're you're paying the karmic debts of your forefathers they see these different men coming at you attacking you and you have this like father figure that can be very dark. I feel like this person, there's a darkness to them. But in the spirit realm, they don't play about you. In the spirit realm, again, they're like, I don't care what I did. Look, in the dark. If you mess with my baby, that's it for you. Like, don't touch my baby. That's what I'm hearing somebody say. Don't touch my baby. Whoever this is, they curse a lot. Because I'm hearing somebody say, because I'll kill every MF in here. Ooh. <laughs> This man is like not playing. He's like, I will kill every 
SOB every M like he is going off right now. I'll kill everybody in here. Like he is not joking around with this situation at all. And there is somebody who has been in your energy just constantly um spiritually bullying you and this father figure or divine masculine whoever they had enough of it. It's too it's two masculines in your energy protecting you. There's like an actual counterpart here. That's aware, but it's like they're getting help and reinforcement from like your father figure, grandfather or somebody as well. There's a lot of masculines in this divine feminist energy that's protecting her because you have like a whole cult, a, a clan or a, a group of Satanists or somebody trying to sacrifice you. So it's like all hands on deck in protecting this divine feminine. Literally, this is like someone's past on loved one or an ancestor that has not been active. Like this person is is like coming, like I said, coming. I'm coming at my body. This person's like I've been sleep, I've been resting, but I'm telling you, whoever this is, they are about to completely destroy this group of men that's been coming after this divine feminine. Because it's like you have a divine masculine that's protecting you. But this person needs help. It's it's everybody against this one feminine. So you got like a whole loved one or ancestor spirit guide. It's I'm it's like all hands on deck. Like some of you, you have a um a spirit guide. Some of you are being um I don't want to say chosen by. I don't know the correct term but it, th there could be like some type of um uh, it's a spirit guy like um a, a particular god or goddess somebody is is trying to they're stepping in assisting it's literally like your your angels your ancestors your guys all of them are different they're all it's all hands on deck they're about to destroy this group, y'all. I'm telling you, it's no, whatever this is, it's real time and it's no joke. It's like somebody's father, grandfather is here. You got an ascended master here. You got an angel out here. You got a divine masculine out here. And they're just like, do not touch my baby. Don't, t like, no, don't do that. But somebody already did it. They already did it. And they all, are, I'm telling you. They already did it. Some it's like somebody here already got your blood. Oh my gosh. Somebody took something from you. They took like your blood. They took this person could have somebody could have taken taken like some hair, some blood. Your they took something from you. I'm here like that's my DNA. I'm hearing somebody that's my DNA. So this could for sure be somebody's like father or grandfather. Like that's my blood. That's my DNA out there. Ooh, somebody is mad. My goodness. And whoever this father figure or masculine, I'm talking about they turning into the damn devil themselves. Like, they're like, I don't care about the devil. The devil should be scared of me. But see, this is what I'm saying about going back to the beginning, not being afraid of your shadow. There are things that are connected to us all, even our within our ancestor and our family. It's a time and it's a place for everything. Whoever this is, even when they were here on earth, they may not have been in the light, but they stand firmly in protecting you from the other side now. And I'm telling whoever they're like, I, I'm not afraid of the devil. They're like, I'm not, the devil should be afraid of me. This person is not afraid of anything dark. This person's like, I'm not afraid of, I'm not afraid of death. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm not, this person's like, I don't, they don't care. They're like, I don't care. This person is like, I don't care who it is coming up against my baby. I'm taking them out. This, I'm telling you, this, it's a wrap for somebody. Somebody should not have ever even thought to play with you because they've done this before. And this person, this coward here in your energy, they did this again. And whoever is like this, father father figure or this masculine in your energy they're like really you did this again because i'm hearing somebody say I, sp I spared him the last time i spared that mf the last time and i thought he was gonna get his stuff together
That's what I'm hearing him say. I stared at the MF the last time and thought he was going to get his. This person curses a lot. But this MF decided he was going to come back again. Ooh. Mm. Well, y'all, somebody is in trouble. Somebody's daddy, granddaddy. Divine masculine, somebody is in trouble. I'm talking, it's like all hands on deck because somebody here really is going through with the with the sacrifice. This this uh, this is not everybody's story, but I'm telling you, somebody here is on the chopping block for a actual sacrifice. And it's a true divine feminine here. Like this whole group is like, yeah. This is a this is a sacrificial ritual that's happening. Baby, this is over with here. Cause I'm telling you, they got they got your and they stole something from you that's not for them. It's this is completely out of control. They took something from you. Oh, somebody is in trouble. I mean, like seriously, y'all, somebody is in bad trouble. They shouldn't have ever done this. Cause I'm just saying, like you, you was warned. They've done this more than once. So if you've been dealing with um any kind of blockages, this because this group they stole from you before, and they were coming in to steal from you again. It's a ritual. They they they've been doing this for some of you for months or for years. Whenever they need a something, they want to gain something like protection from a legal situation or they want like a windfall of money. They come in and they sacrifice, they steal your energy and they sacrifice it and they offer it to this um, deity or entity or whatever. They came in now to try to steal it. But see, wherever you are in your journey now, God has something very specific for you to do. You have to have all of your energy right now. So they were coming in and they were about to steal something that was going to be used for your entire bloodline. So now everybody in your bloodline is like, oh, no, we're going to mess up whoever is tapping into your energy. But see, you have to go through all of this to become awakened and aware of who you actually are. You have something to do for your entire bloodline, for an entire generation of people. So you got dad, granddad, great, great, great grandparents and elders and ascended masters. They're all coming in like, no, we already chose this person to do something specific. So whoever this group is, when they decide to try to drink your blood or eat of your flesh, just like they did Christ, Jesus Christ, they're like, are you crazy? Boy, oh boy. I have chills all over me. Whoever this man is, man, he really curses. <laughs> he is cursing up a storm like he is pissed. Official <laughs> official person. <laughs> this official person is like, yep, I got my orders. I'm about to take everybody out. I'm telling whoever this is, this official person, it's like I'm taking everybody out. Everybody who came after this divine feminine, I'm taking them out. Some of you, whoever this, this is somebody in your, it's a high ranking like pass on loved one, a, a spirit guide, an ancestor. They're like, yep, I already got my orders. And they're like in poverty, they're like, I'm coming. I'm telling somebody, I'm, like, I'm coming at my body. I'm about to go and F up some people. The, wow, the lovers and the marriage is here. Some of you, it's time for you to go into a union. And whoever in the spirit realm has to protect you so that you can get in this union, you're always on the mind. Y'all, for some of you, it's like, yeah, you have this ancestor, but this is also a masculine. You're always on the mind of this person. Somebody is always thinking about a new beginning. This is a person here that's always thinking about you. And this person, they're aware. It's more than one person. It's a divine masculine, but it's also like a spirit god or an ancestor protecting you as well. But this person is always thinking about you. This person wants to have a courtship with you, a child, a life, a family. They want to be wealthy with you. Like 
it's what it's meant to be. Like this, th I'm saying this is like your legacy. This is what somebody is trying to come in and steal. And it could be anybody. Somebody knows that this is what's coming in for you. So they decided that they were going to come in and steal it before you got it. So that they could have it for themselves. So for some of you, you may be the type of person you're like, you know, I should have been married a long time ago. Or I should have been a, you know, wealthy a long time ago. Yeah, but somebody has been in your energy every single time a blessing is about to come. They steal it first and they take it for themselves. I know a lot of divine feminines who have been with some distorted masculine at some point, And you will look up and you're like, it seems like that person is living my life. Yeah, they are. They've stolen your energy, sacrificed it to some kind of deity or whatever to manifest a life. They, they're walking in your energy. They're, they're living the life that's yours. But you have a huge blessing that's coming in now. And it has a lot to do with marriage, family, possibly a child or a new, just a new beginning, a blessing, a business. You have an official person. Yeah. Y'all, God is like not playing. God is sending you like a whole army of protection right now. Even your divine masculine, this person, they're come, this person could be coming out of poverty. It does not matter where this person is coming from. They're official. This person literally, God could have made this person lose everything in their life so that they could come towards you. That's like the type of energy that I'm getting. Because somebody goes from poverty to marriage to being in love to being wealthy, having a child, everything. This is either you or your person. One of you is coming out of poverty. And I'm not meaning just financial poverty. Like just being out in the cold. Like you... As an official person, you've got new orders. You're like an earth angel, spirit guide. You have a new set of orders. And you're now being ordered to go into a marriage, a partnership, business partnership to have a life to procreate and co-create with spirit. And somebody here, possibly that you was once in a relationship with, this person has been attacking you spiritually, trying to steal. Yeah, because you have a message of concern about a house. Some of you could be getting a new house, or this is just a message of concern about your security and your stability. It's coming at a distance, and someone at a distance may lose their life because they kept they tried to take yours again. Heavy emphasis on again. They've done this several times. They're not trying to physically take you out, but spiritually, they, they want you bankrupt because they're stealing your energy for themselves. Yep, look at that gift and high honor. You are a person of high honor with a gift. And somebody has been stealing it. But look, you have a case built up against this person. So now when it, it's time for judgment day, it's like you have a whole case built up. This person, there's nothing that they can say. They're going to be in despair now. For the work they've done against you. And if they've been traveling and going at a distance to try to cause endings for you or recruit other people to call. Every single person that had any part of this, they're going down. Mark my words, this is happening now. Four, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 16, 18. Hold on. April 14th, 15th, 16th. 17th. 18th, 19th, the 20th, the 22nd, the 23rd, and today is the 25th. They found out today that you're a person of high honor. That These people have been doing, this is a satanic ritual I told you about. I'm telling you. The first day of the 13-day satanic ritual is started on April 19th. 19, card number 19, the coffin. They put you up as a sacrifice. Mm, mm, mm. Pathway. They were going to sacrifice you for your pathway. They wanted your spiritual journey. You got a mature woman out here, expectation of a change. Privileged lady. It's a mature woman out here that's been assisting these people. This could be like their trusted high priest or somebody like that this person here they've been privileged a long time because they've been helping these men do this 
this is a false person. Yeah, trust me, whoever this group is, they have a particular woman that they use to tap into people's energy. Um, this could be a, a false prophet or a psychic or something like that. Every single person who was involved with this ritual is going down. That's what I'm telling you. And whatever is for you, it is 100% coming in. You can check out the reading that I did earlier, though, you guys, about the union between an earth angel and a spirit guide. That has a, a lot of the good karma, which you can expect to come. But there's for sure been like a scorned lover or somebody that has been in your energy for sure that has been stealing your abundance. Look at that. Look at this. Your significant other is sending you negativity. Glamour magic. Yeah, this person is trying to appear as you in the spirit. Copycat. Trying to be just like you and do everything that you do. Yeah, look. That's what they're doing. They're doing glamour magic. They want to be seen as you in the spirit realm. This is somebody who is looking into your life and they're like, oh, so this person is going to be wealthy. This person is going to be married. I want to do that too. So I tell you what, I'm going to take this person's energy and I'm going to walk around in the spirit, and I'm going to be like them. And so what they're doing is they're taking all of your energy and your essence and you're walking around in despair and in poverty while they live your life. And, and, and I feel like some of you, you're just now getting back on your feet in a way. And they're trying to come in and rob you again. Oh, baby, this bad move. Bad, bad move. Because this is not going to work this time. This person, I'm telling you, they, they was going through with it, though. They they was holding on to this offer with their hands, feet, toes, and everything. And they was like, okay, we in. And right when they thought that everything was all good, boom. Look, karma's a bitch. <laughs> the evil eye they sent your way has backfired. Hating on your spiritual and psychic gifts. These people wanted your spiritual and psychic gifts and your protection. See, that's the thing too about certain people. Even people, and I, I've talked about this a lot. Protection is something that people don't talk about enough. It does not matter how powerful you are. As a witch, a warlock, a dark priestess, or whatever, when you come across a person who has a whole army protecting them, no amount of spell work, no ritual or anything else that you do can come against them. That's the reason why for some of you, whatever this, this shield of protection is that you have, these people have been feasting off of your energy to protect them from their karma. They're doing glamour magic and causing drama and fights in your love life and your connection. These people are trying to isolate you so that they can attack you and they can use your energy. They want to block your heart chakra. They don't want you to be able to love because if your heart chakra is open and you're able to love or even practice self-love, then they can't send these dark entities to attach to the lower parts of, of, of you. Like anything, you know, negative they can't send anything that will stick to you they they this person or these people they're hating on your creative ideas look this person calls you negativity is an earth sign i told you about that king of pentacles this is a coward this person has been hiding in the shadows in your energy spreading rumors about you and causing you cycles of bad luck misery loves company this person they can't manifest certain things on their own because they already sold their soul so they'll spread rumors about you, make you out to be a bad person while they try to walk around in your energy. But see, your spirit team is aware of this. This is someone who has very low self-esteem. This is a man who has very low self-esteem and has teamed up with a, a group of feminine haters. They hate their moms, their wives, their sisters. They, they hate the feminine, but they want to steal your energy to protect them while they run around and be tyrants. Hmm. Well, there's a real divine masculine and somebody's daddy or granddaddy that's about to F everybody up. That's what I heard him say. Yeah. Trying to block your crown chakra. It says tap into your intuition. You already know who this is. This person's trying to send dark shadows your way. This could be someone here who has issues with intimacy, STDs. They may have been trying to cause you to be infertile. Just all kinds of stuff. 
It stands though. This person talks behind your back. You already know who this person is. 